let me talk about feelings. I believe feelings can be very deceptive. Sometimes the way I feel about something can be wrong. I would say most of the time, our feelings is not an indicator of truth. I truly believe that. For instance, and you may disagree with this, but there are Bible scriptures that say different. I was taught that, you know, you have to pay your tithes. And after a while, I stopped paying my tithes. I think I was paying tithes for years. And I thought that, I believe I thought that I was going to hell and I would feel like really, really bad as if like God is angry with me or something like that. I started researching, researching. I believe around that time when I stopped, did I research? I forget, but I started researching <clears throat> and researching and I found out that in this day of age, we don't have to pay tithes. When it came down to observing the Sabbath day, I thought that we have to do it. And I would feel so bad for not doing it and I researched and researched and I found out that we don't have to do it. Did I say that right? I researched, I used to feel bad by not observing the Sabbath, but I researched and I found out that we don't have to do it. So my feelings were not correct. We can't base truth, not all the time, I guess, on the way we feel. How many times have you been wrong when you based something upon the way you feel? Please tell me. Kevin, I feel that blah, 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 blah. Kevin, I feel blah, blah, blah. But you can be dead wrong. I believe a long time ago, maybe not a long time ago, maybe three years or more, I spoke to a woman and in essence, what she pretty much said that either she said something like her feelings are true or her feelings are right because they are coming from her. So pretty much because her feelings are coming from her, they are true. I believe that is what she was trying to say. And if you think that way, I believe a person like that is going to have an extremely hard life. I believe there are so many demons out there that can manipulate, in a sense, I guess, the way we feel. 
So if demons can manipulate the way we feel, we can't always trust our feelings. We can't base truth, not all the time, I guess, upon the way we feel. Right? What we need to do is base based truth upon the Bible. What situation am I in? And what does the Bible say about it? If my feelings contradict what the Bible say, who cares about the way I feel? Does it make my feelings valid because I feel it? If they are wrong, they are not valid. Who cares about wrong feelings? Please listen to what I am saying. If you are holding wrong beliefs, wrong feelings, why should anyone validate those feelings? For instance, if you feel that you are worthless and not worth anything, if that isn't true, why should I validate those feelings if they aren't true? Right? If you feel like you can't succeed in life, if that isn't true, why should I show support to the way you feel? No, I am going to toss it away. Base truth upon the Bible and not on the way you feel because I believe the way we feel can be deceptive. I hope this is making sense. Just because you feel something doesn't particularly mean, doesn't particularly mean what you feeling is true. That is what I believe. Sometimes with myself, and maybe this has happened to you as well, I believe there were times where Thoughts came to my mind telling me this person did this to you or did that to disrespect you or to whatever else like that. How many times have we been wrong about that? Or stuff like that. Or let's say our feelings say you know, this person is being mean to us or this person has done this deed to try to get revenge. Like, how many times have wrong if information came to your mind? We can't listen to every thought that comes to our mind. We can't always base decisions on the way we feel. Sometimes, I, I believe that is true, I believe sometimes we have to use logic. And I believe there is logic in the Word of God. I hope this makes sense. God bless you.